So you know, a very common question I hear nowadays is, why is the supercharger speed so low? Well, there is actually a very good explanation for that. So there are actually three conditions that has to be met in order to get the fastest speed at the supercharger. The first one is that you cannot share charger with someone. Okay, and the second one is that the battery has to be warm enough. And the third condition is that you cannot arrive with too high state of charge. It has to be somewhat low. And all these three conditions has to be met at the same time. If there is one condition that hasn't been met, then you won't get the fastest speed. So that's a really quick explanation of why. And now, well, okay, if you know what I mean, then good for you. You can just, you know, figure out why your charging is slow. And of course, if you want to know more details, then here are the details. So the first condition, I'll explain a little bit more. So at the supercharger, there's actually two stalls per charger. So for instance, over here, you see six stalls and there are three chargers and two and two stalls share one charger. So this, the rule is simple. The first car which arrives there will get the priority. You will get all the juice you need in the first car. And the second car will get the remains. And most superchargers nowadays, they can deliver up to 150 kilowatt. So if you come there first and you get, let's say 100 kilowatt, then good for you. The next car will get about 50 kilowatt only. And you can distinguish the chargers by looking at the numbers. So 1A and 1B share the same charger. 2A, 2B share the same charger. And usually, you know, they are next to each other. But there are some weird places where <laughs> you, you have to look at the numbers and the letters. Like they are spread out in some weird uh, configuration. Uh, but if you arrive late, I mean, if you connect to a stall that already another car is connecting that, then you will only get the leftover. So yes, I mean, if you, I mean, you have to, you know, sometimes when there are lots of cars charging, you have to try to move around a bit if you get slow speed, because you know that the two other conditions are met. So I will come back to that soon. And usually well, that's what I do. I try to change the charger and most of the time it actually helps. You, know, you, you waste a little bit of time, but you change charger and then you find a good one. You have to find a charger that no one is on or a charger where uh, the other car is charging. I mean, it's already at high state of charge. So the other car is only getting, let's say, 30 kilowatt. And then you get most, I mean, whatever you need. All right, details about the second condition which is the battery has to be warm enough. Cold battery is not good for charging fast. Uh, it can actually damage the, uh, the lithium cells. So that's why the BMS, the battery management system in the car, takes good care of the battery and it will limit the charging power and also the regen, by the way, uh, if the car and the battery is not uh, warm enough. And I mean, how warm does it have to be? Well, uh, if you pre heat the car I mean preheat the car and also preheat the battery uh, but by the way if you want to preheat the car and preheat up the battery you have to switch off range mode if range mode is on then the battery heater is switched off in order to save energy so you have to switch off range mode and you should uh, preheat for about half an hour and after half an hour it depends on the ambient temperature and uh, all of that but uh, usually after half an hour the battery will be at uh, 17 degrees Celsius or 63 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is still not enough to get full regen. And also that means it's st still not enough to get uh, the maximum speed at the supercharger. So usually you have to, let's say, preheat for half an hour and then drive half an hour to one hour. Or if you haven't preheated, then you might have to drive like one hour. But all of this depends, but that's just the, the general rule. So, you know, driving five minutes, 15 minutes to the supercharger, it's not gonna get you this, the fastest speed, unfortunately. And as for the temperature, for the like the optimal temperature, I'm not sure, but um, I think I heard that uh, you have to have like 30, 40 degrees Celsius in order to get the full speed. All right, the last condition is that the car cannot have too high state of charge. So this also depends on which battery pack you have. 
and 85 has like a weird I mean uh, like the the uh, I would say the charging um, profile that most people are used to where you get you know the best speed at the bottom the, almost like the lower you go then the high speed you get and then it kind of drops very like consistent towards the top whereas the new battery packs the 75 the 90 I haven't heard about the 100 but uh, probably the same also is that uh, you actually have slightly lower maximum uh, speed uh, but not only that but um, if you go too deep I mean you go too low close to 100% I mean close to 0% then actually you will have really slow speed at, at the bottom so what you should do at, with the new battery packs is that uh, arrive there with like 10% then you're good then you get slightly lower than the 85 pack but uh, it will keep that high speed for a longer time. So if you take the area under it, then it's better. Yeah, but anyway, so that means, um, I would say, I would try to generalize and say that um, if you arrive at the supercharger with about 20, 10, 20%, you will get the best speed. If you arrive with 70, 80%, then it will be slow. Even, I mean, regardless of if you're alone at the supercharger or if the battery is warm enough, as long as you have a high state of charge, you're not going to get super speed, like over 100 kilowatts. Yes, okay, so uh, that was a short and a long one, depending on how you look at it. So I hope this is useful for you. So, uh, and also I see this question a lot, so I hope this will help you and, you know, try to help other people understand, you know, all this stuff and why it is so slow. So, yes, uh, I guess that's it for now.